With the 2022.0 release of NetFab, we have significantly updated the Stratasys Origin 1 machine workspace and we're introducing a direct connection to the Origin Online platform. Please note that you will need an active account to the Origin Online platform in order to benefit from this connectivity. Now, let's take a closer look at how to set up NetFab so that you can prepare your prints for an Origin 1 printer. We will get started in NetFab 2022 by selecting My Machines, adding the Origin 1 printer to your machines, and opening the machine workspace. Next, we click on Manage Collections and log in with our Origin Online credentials. We can now access our existing collections, rename them, delete them, or add new ones. Clicking on Go to Origin web page button takes us directly to the Origin Online platform for additional management tools. Now that we're logged in, we can add a part to the tray and add support structures by clicking on Run Support Script button. There are three support scripts provided by Stratasys to make the setup a breeze. You can also further edit the automatic supports or create your own scripts by clicking on Edit Support button. Once the job has been prepared, we can click on the Upload job to send it to the Origin platform, select the collection, printer, and material. During the upload process, we can choose to slice the part and upload a zip file containing the PNG stack. Or, we can simply upload the STL file and use the slicer available on the web page. Please note that transferring the zip file will take longer compared to uploading an STL. Once the upload is complete, we can go to the Origin web page and see the newly uploaded part for our collection. It has been automatically added to the print queue and the print job can be started on the machine. 